Hi, welcome to ToddFun.com, where I do what I think is fun. Um, I'm using the new camera gantry. It actually is working out very well, even though I have modifications uh, underway. And that's what this video is. What are the modifications? If you watched the previous video on the camera gantry, you'll notice that the sled mechanism that actually used the garage door tracks worked very well. But the single rail that I made to go uh, in this direction to the bench and away from the bench, that cart was pretty chunky. Uh, didn't care for it that much. It works, it's, it, it's fine, but it swings a little and it's not smooth. So uh, I wanted to um, improve that. And I was thinking, well, if the sled works so well this way, why not make the same thing this way? A dual two rail system using two more garage door tracks. Um, why not? You know, you know, that and four more of these nylon rollers. And I essentially got the same mechanism in both directions. Uh, as far as the uh, tripod upside down, that's working great. I mean, that's, uh, that's perfect. Um, you would think that this would be expensive, and so did I. I thought, okay, I want to. I have to hunt down some of these, uh, some of these uh, tracks, and they don't sell them anywhere. Oh, big store, big box stores, nowhere. You have to actually go to people who rebuild uh, or install garage doors, garage door install companies. And I was like, oh, okay, it's going to get expensive, but it's not. This actually turns out to be a lot cheaper for uh, hackers, because. I found out when I called them that they didn't want to sell me any track. They wanted to give it to me. They, because I told them I was building a camera uh, track for rolling a camera around, and that I thought it would work really well with the rollers and everything. And they said, "Yeah, that's a good idea. Come pick some up." They install garage doors every day, especially in larger cities like the Phoenix area. They're installing dozens of doors every day, and replacing broken doors and stuff. And the only way the warranty is is honored on those uh, doors is if they replace the rails and the wheels and everything and they literally throw it all in a big dumpster for scrap uh, essentially just for recycling and they said well we'll just you know how big a pieces do you want and they'll just throw some aside and they did and I just went up there and uh, grabbed a couple of rails that they threw aside I said I wanted nine footers um, and they called or I called them up and they said yeah we got those we'll throw them aside and uh, wheels too, they throw the wheels out, so you don't have to buy the wheels. And even all the hanging brackets and everything that they do to hang the, uh, them from the ceiling. This means you can build a, something like this without even having a garage. You can do this in a wherever where you don't mind putting a few holes in your ceiling. Because they got the hanging hardware, they throw that out. They got the wheels, they throw that out. And they got these uh, rails. And uh, now granted, they, maybe they get some scrap money for it, and if you want a lot of it, they probably would like to get their scrap value, but they didn't seem to care. So call them and find out, and they may just let you have some. They'll throw some aside, and they either sell it to you at, the, at what they would get for recycling, or, they, or they'll just give it to you. you know, either way, extremely cheap to build this now. And you don't need a welder either, because all these come with holes. If There's, there's holes drilled in these, and you could drill more holes if you needed to. Um, the brackets that they throw away, they all have holes in it for bolts. And uh, they th you don't have to weld the wheels to anything because they throw away those uh, uh, brackets that go in the garage doors too. They throw those away. And those you could bolt to a track. Um, some of them are hinged and some of them aren't. Or even if they're hinged, you can bolt them down um, to something flat. And so they just go inside one of those hinge mechanisms and you can just bolt it to, some, to something that's a stock piece of metal. So you wouldn't even need a welder to, to, to build it. And like I say, you could have a studio someplace, and you could just get a bunch of this stuff. Most of the stuff is seven foot, but uh, you could easily put a piece of strap seal behind this if you don't have a welder, and make seven foots into fourteen foots, and and whatever you want, uh, just by putting some straps behind them, pop rivets, and or some pan head screws on the inside, so that you don't interrupt with the flow of the wheels. But I got a welder, so if I want them longer, I just weld them. But they actually do really large garages down here, so they just threw some nine footers out for me. Um, so that's it. Um, I'm really not going to show a whole lot of the construction. Um, that's the explanation. I'm going to show a couple of the welds uh, in their final state and then show uh, the final new and improved camera gantry system. So let's get building. I'm jigged up to add the two rails. You can see there's a rail here and there. I'm going to leave that middle bar because this uh, new uh, cart, this track is going to be on the bottom. And since the top side was the rail before, it can stay. 
This is all squared up. I'm going to solder these two points. It's a 10 inch width, dead on 10, width, 10 inches, and it's square on both ends. So I attack weld all this in, attack all that, and uh, on to building the cart. Okay, these are welded on. Uh, these little tracks, this, this little cart, or this uh, cart is welded up on both sides here. But these rails weren't real straight. They were salvage, and they had a little bow to them and a little crown to them and so they weren't as straight as I would want and I was afraid that the cart that rolls in here would get stuck. So I put the, a two and a half inch strap here and a couple of uh, basically half inch straps here. I measured out at four and three quarters on every one of these. On, on each side of these is four and three quarters exactly. And that basically straightened the track up real good and then because they're clamped here and welded on the center rail that really straightened it up. I originally was thinking of getting rid of this center one keep the weight down but now I'm actually uh, it's quite necessary to get this uh, uh, this salvage uh, stock to be nice and straight so that cart rolls smooth. For this uh, essentially if you want to know how I made this small sled uh, just go back and watch the first video on the uh, camera gantry and I welded it up and squared it up and did everything exactly the same as I did this sled. This sled is just longer. The shed sled is shorter. This is sled rides inside the other one. So, uh, really don't have to go into detail on how I made it nice and square and everything, because it's the same. But essentially, uh, this just goes in. This uh, larger sled. And then it just rolls it along. And uh, the only other thing is, uh, I, bought, I welded studs on the bottom as well, so that I can mount that tripod base to this once it's up on, on the garage door overhead. This uh, this does have to go in before I put it up because uh, it, it it can't come out once it's up. So I'll put it in and put it up, and then we'll take a look. Well, here it is in action. And I must say, the action moves even smoother. Uh, a little bit more weight kind of helped out, I guess. And then the cart. That's pretty smooth. Let's put the camera on it. There, we've got the tripod on it and my old blog camera. So this all still works the same. And wow, that is, that I just can't say how much smoother that is. It is like, so easy to do this. Well, let's shoot some footage with it and uh, in closing. And wow, this is really easy to swing over the bench and put down as an inspection camera. I can easily zoom in with this rig. I don't have the camera fiddling around. It's right in front of me. Very easy to see everything. I can get out farther and see more of the board at once if I want. But I could even solder under there. I mean, this is a that's my finger, which is as big as this chip here. And I could easily get in there and it's it's real time optical, really. It's I could easily reflow and and work those pins and because it's real time optical, there's no delay and it's right in front of me and inspecting and seeing the printing on chips and these I mean, it easily pulls up the contrast of the writing on there without actually getting out an eye loop or nothing I just swing my camera over, dive it in and I can, I can see real quickly all the printing on these chips that is going to save me a lot of work <laughs> look, look how easy it is to read that, even this giant thing I could reflow those real easy without even getting on a microscope I would have to say a stereo microscope would be a would be better but boy if you had to if you had this handy this would definitely get the job done real easy wow no problem reading those itty bitty little tiny those things are only as big as my tip of my iron and yet I can read them without even getting out an eye loop or anything sweet well it's just a uh Traverse the whole garage. That's the full travel that way. And that's about center. And this would be going into the bench. And we could scan across the, uh, the equipment. 
you can tell there's a tiny bit of bumping with the wheels, but boy, it, it really is smooth. And then it's really easy to set up where I want to shoot at. So much easier. Take a bench shot. Take a look at some equipment real quick. If I'm showing anything on my instruments, I can show them real quick. I can take a different angle real fast. Hmm. And then back to center. Well, let's. There we go. Well, uh, that's the uh, the new and improved camera gantry. Uh, two rail system, should have done it right away, just didn't know. But, uh, hey, that's how you learn, you build stuff, and then you make it better. Um, I'm real happy with how smooth it is now. Um, that's kind of what I wanted, I didn't want that swingingness and everything. I wanted to be able to pan around my equipment a little better. Um, much nicer, much nicer. So. Uh, I thought it would be more expensive, but like I said at the beginning, it was cheaper because I can get salvaged uh, garage door rails, and that makes it a whole lot cheaper than buying any type of actual stock. So if you need to build one of these, you could do so um, just about anywhere, in a garage or in any room. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, that's sweet. I give this one 100%. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for joining, and leave any comments, thumbs up, and joining in.